Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to show you how to install MS-DOS 7.1. What is the main benefit of using 7.1 instead of 6.22? It is the FAT32 support for the uh, file system. That means you can use hard drives up to 120 gigabyte hard drive. You will need a Windows 98 SE boot disk. Where can you get this from? From an existing Windows 98 computer or you can head to bootdisk.com and I'll put a link down below in the description and uh, create a boot disk based on the Windows 98 SE boot disk, the custom version without the RAM drive. So we're just going to insert that into the floppy drive and turn on our DOS retro computer. What you need to do next is go into the BIOS and make sure that the machine boots from the A drive first instead of the hard drive. Once you've configured that, just save the settings and proceed with booting from the floppy drive. Okay, here we are. And if we type in the directory command, we can see there are a bunch of files on this boot disk. And the next step we need to do is partition our hard drive. So we run the fdisk utility. And compared to DOS 6.22, it will ask us if we're interested in the FAT32 support, so we definitely say yes. And what we need to do next is have a look at the existing partitions. So what I've got here is a previous MS-DOS 6.22 installation with a 2 gigabyte primary partition and an extended DOS partition of 6 gigabytes, which has three logical drives. So we, we will delete all of that and create a single 32 gigabyte partition. I'm using a 32 gigabyte compact flash, flash card in that machine. So we just press escape and we go to delete partition or logical DOS drive. And what we need to do first, I'm gonna delete the primary partition, then the logical drives, and then the extended partition. So we'll choose option number one. Okay, sorry, I have to do this the other way around. So I have to delete the logical drives first, then the extended partition, and then the primary partition. So we go number three, delete logical drives in the extended partition. And I think we just have to type in the drive letters. E, oh, hang on, and the volume, yep. So delete. F and F confirm yes and then we're just going to do D the volume label is D and yes um, and you can see the information up here what drive it is and the volume label okay press escape and now we can delete the extended partition so we choose number three and then number two delete extended partition it is uh, partition number two I would just say yes to continue. Extended partition has been deleted. And now we just delete the primary partition. So we choose number three, delete primary, to primary partition, and confirm that we type in the volume label, which is ms dash dos underscore six. And we confirm that. Now all the partitions are gone. And if we choose option number four again, we can confirm there are no partitions on the hard drive. And now we choose option number one, create a DOS partition. And we're gonna create one primary partition. It'll just quickly check the drive integrity. There you go. We wanna use the maximum size. So just confirm that and it does another integrity check. Okay, and now we just press escape and it's telling us that we need to restart our computer. So we're just gonna do that. Okay. Now we just need to format our drive. So we've partitioned it and now we need to format it. So we type in format, um, C colon, and then forward slash S, which will make it bootable. Okay, it's done with the formatting. We can now give our drive a name. So I'm just gonna call it MS-DOS 7.1. And we can see here, um, 32 megabyte, uh, gigabyte. So, what we're going to do next is we're going to switch over to the C drive and we're going to make a DOS directory and then we go back to the floppy drive and we're just going to copy all the files to C slash DOS. Okay, we are now done with the Windows 98 SE boot disk. However, there's one important file 
missing and that is, that is the emm386.exe. So where can you get this file from? From an existing Windows 98 installation, you just grab it from the Windows folder. So we just got to copy that file as well, emm386.exe into our C slash DOS folder. That's quite important, especially for playing games. A lot of games use expanded, expanded memory and need that file. At this point, I want to show you my MS-DOS starter pack. They're very handy. It's got a little installation program and this will install a boot menu with all the memory options as well as configure your mouse and CD-ROM drive. All you have to do is insert the disk, type install and there will be a little splash screen. Press Ctrl C if you're unsure to pr proceed, otherwise just press any key and it'll copy across a few files. Now, note that you should not be using this in uh, Windows 90, 98 or 95 MS-DOS mode. This is for a pure Windows 7 point, uh, MS-DOS 7.1 installation like I'm showing you in this video. Okay, we're all done. Eject the disk and let's reboot our machine and it should now boot from the hard drive. And here's the boot menu. You can choose um, if you want conventional memory, extended memory or expanded memory. And you've got options for no mouse, mouse and mouse as well as CD-ROM. And the final thing worth checking out is how to remove the Windows 98 splash screen. Now there's a special uh, file that we need to edit. It's the msdos.sys but we can't see it, it's hidden. And if we type in the attrib command, we can see it here, msdos.sys. And it's got the system file, the hidden file, and the read-only file attribute set. So in order to edit that file, we have to remove, remove those attributes. So we type in attrib msdos.sys, and then minus s minus h minus r that removes all the attributes and now we can edit ms dos dot sys and that's how it looks like and what we need to do is open a square bracket type in options close square bracket and then type in logo equals zero and if we stop here the splash screen will be gone but we will be getting an error about the registry. So we need one more command, which is system reg equals zero, and that will disable the registry check. Check So we shouldn't get the error. Okay, now we just save that file again. I'll, I'll leave it on the screen one more time, uh, so you can quickly write it down. And then we just save the file, and we restore all the attributes. So we go attrib msdos.sys and now we use the plus symbols to add the system file attribute, to add the hidden file attribute and to add the read-only file attribute. And if we do a directory it is hidden again, we can't see it. Okay, let's restart the machine and the splash screen should be gone but our boot menu is still working. There you go, boot menu is working. And that's it for this video. So I've shown you how to install MS-DOS 7.1 from a Windows 98 boot disk, which you can get from bootdisk.com. One file is missing, the emm386.exe. And also mentioned my MS-DOS starter pack, especially for you gamers out there. This is really handy and pretty much any game, you should be able to find an option that works with your game. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.